Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Lorelai Shamayo, and this is Me We Fairs for Energizing Body, Mind, Heart, and Soul. We have events throughout the Northwest and many online, and we interview our practitioners and vendors so you get a chance to know who we are before you meet us at an event. I'm excited to be here today with Mystic Mars. Mystic Mars, it's lovely to be with you. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. You are welcome. So tell us, what is it that you do? What do you offer at our events? So I offer currently intuitive tarot readings. Um, the sessions aren't really timed. They do go around 20 to 30 minutes. Um, honestly, you really get what you put into them. So it can go for way longer than that. And I really love it when it does. Um, yeah, we just dive deep together. Mm-hmm. And what got you interested in tarot? And it sounds like it's not really the only thing you do. So like, tell us the range of all the different things and like, yes, how did this come yeah. to be? Um, so I've been like spiritual, intuitive, which like whatever word you want to use for it, pretty much my whole life. Like um, I grew up, my grandma talks to plants and animals and my mom is definitely like a hearth witch. Um, so I feel like I've always been called to this kind of lifestyle. Um, but I've been working with tarot cards as like a self-reflection guide for almost 10 years now. So that's really cool. <laughs> Um, right. Yeah, it just feels like really authentically me, and it's been nice to be leaning into that more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and what tarot decks do you use, and how do you choose what you use, and all that? Yeah. Ah, so I choose by the person. Like usually they'll come up and I they'll come up and I kind of get a feel for their energy. Um, and the decks also they'll let me know like, oh, you need me this time. <laughs> I love the the Wildwood tarot I have here. I use this one pretty often. Um, it's very to the point and doesn't really beat around the bush. Um, that's another thing, like each deck will have a voice. And when I meet a person, I can kind of tell like what voice they need in that moment, like how gentle they need the advice to be. Um, I also work with Modern Witches Tarot. I love the representation in this deck. Um, and there's also like a lack of gender or a gender fluid energy with this deck that I really appreciate. Um, I'm queer and I love doing readings for other queer folks. So it's really important to me. Um, and I also use Tarot of the Divine. Um, and this deck is just like, it's stunning, honestly, a really soft voice, um, like kind of told through a story. Um, and yeah, so I guess each each deck will give a different kind of feel. Uh, and I just feel it out with the person in the moment. Mm, okay. Sometimes they'll kind of jump off though, like I'll go reach for one and another one will fall off the table. And I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> you just have to listen to the cards. Um, but I do, I consider myself a conduit, so I just use my fine-tuned intuition, and it, it works every time. And I say, are there particular types of ways that you tend to read the cards, or are there t- particular topics that people come to for, like any themes like that? Yeah, when, well, when people come to me, I usually, I'll tell them ahead of time, like, you don't have to share whatever your question or theme you want to explore is, but it can be really good to be kind of meditating on that while I'm shuffling. Um, and I'll just think of the person, look at them, put their energy into it while I'm shuffling. Uh, and the spreads come out naturally as well. I have done like set spreads in the past, but usually I just pull or when I shuffle, they fly out, which is my favorite thing. Um, and then it just kind of is an intuitive spread from there or more like a storytelling journey. Like usually a card will come out to represent the person and, and what they're going through. Um, so if I don't get a question, it's usually just general advice or what the universe needs you to hear right now, what you need to hear right now uh, for yourself. So, yeah, great, great. Oh, goodness. I think is there. Um, uh, have it just have you shared your work in a lot of fairs before? Is it newer for you to share in fairs or? Yeah, so this past conference with you was my first time. Um, and like I said earlier, I love that I'm leaning into this more, um, kind of stepping and trying to build a career out of my spirituality, because I'm definitely like the, the mom friend, look out for you friend, coming with intuitive advice and like mixing herbs and salves and things if you've got like a cut or you have a cold. So I'm just trying to give that to my community now um, and reach out more. I actually just moved to Portland from Orlando, Florida. Um, my partner and I grabbed our dog and our cat and we drove here. <laughs> Um, so that was really exciting and then within the first month of being here the conference happened and it just felt like it was also on a full moon so it felt really in alignment Um, and since then I've done a couple of markets and and things just around the Portland area and it's felt really amazing so I'm new to it but it feels like like, oh finally we're like oh that's what I should have been doing this whole time (laughs) 
Um, so it's, it's been really magical to fall into alignment in that way. And I feel like, I don't know, my energy has just been so, I've been really loving it lately. So I'm glad that I'm, I'm getting out there and I'm exchanging that energy with other people and potentially uplifting them or making them cry. Um, I love the release of tears, but yeah. And I, I feel like I've been getting more people that really want to explore the cards with me um, and, and even read them themselves. Like, I really do think you can get out of it what you put into it. Um, and yeah, I'm excited for that. It's great. It's great. Well, if people want to learn more about you, where do they find you on the web? So currently I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Um, my Instagram is intuitive Mars and then Twitter is musings from Mars. Um, and if you ever see me set up, I'll have those posted on a little sign. Okay, great. And more online to come. It sounds like great. Yeah. And I'll be at the Port Portland conferences with you. Uh, mm -hmm. So very great. excited for that. Great. Yeah, excited to have you. Well, thanks so much. Lovely connecting with you. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you more and having more people connect with your work. Yeah, ditto. And thanks for this opportunity. And hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah, you're so welcome. And for all of you listening and watching, you can find out more about all of our events at mewefairs.com. That's M-E-W-E-F-A-I-R-S.com. Thanks, Mystic Mars. Thanks so much. <laughs>